Dave Chappelle attacker's misdemeanor charge ripped by comedy club owners. Shocking to hear, the district attorney's office referred the case to the Los Angeles City Attorney's Office for consideration of misdemeanor charges The Los Angeles District Attorney's Office's decision not to bring felony charges against Dave Chappelle's alleged onstage attacker has already sent shockwaves through the world of entertainment, and live venue owners across the country are coming down hard on what they say is D.A. George Gaskin's lack of justice. This is shocking to hear. New York comedy club owner Donnie Zoldan told Fox News Digital Thursday. The individual that attacked Dave Chappelle did so with a knife. It was planned in advance. I'm curious what they would consider felony conduct. People should be held accountable for their actions. Not charging this person appropriately sends a message that it's okay to physically harm someone. It's really outrageous. Will Smith got an Oscar after he slapped Chris Rock and now this. LA is awesome, and residents deserve to live their violence free. Politicians and police need to do their job right. Jamie Masada, owner of the LA-based Laugh Factory chain of comedy clubs, also shared his disappointment with the DA's decision not to file felony charges against Lee. It is so unjust. I don't know about the law, but I do know what's right. And, from my perspective, that was a felony, not a misdemeanor, Masada said. It is just not right. On the same day that Gaskin declined to file felony charges, L.A. City Attorney Mike Feuer hit Lee with four misdemeanor crimes which include battery, possession of a weapon with intent to assault, unauthorized access to the stage area during a performance, and commission of an act that delays the event or interferes with the performer. It's unclear what a potential penalty could be handed down and Fox News Digital has reached out to the city attorney's office for comment. Less than 24 hours after the Chappelle attack, Zoldan also pointed to the increased anxiety club owners and operators and performers are feeling in the push to ramp up live shows amid the pandemic. The industry is trying to make back some of its huge losses from being shut down during the pandemic. Zoldan noted that smaller venues often don't have enough in their budgets to hire consistent security to control crowds. I mean, we're definitely not going to have security. Small venues, most of them can't afford to have that extra payroll. It's expensive to have security at a small comedy club, Zoldan lamented. We will have a discussion with the staff about what procedures we need to put in place so people don't breach the stage. We never had that conversation before. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and press bell icon button for more videos.